Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're going to jump into another Double Masters queue. This one's been pretty decent. Um, we just tried to play a historic black-white enchantment deck, black-white demonic pack deck, and uh, it didn't go well because we just kept facing mono Field of the Dead decks. Um, so ideally, if you're watching this on YouTube, this card gets banned today, and we will subsequent, subsequently be streaming the deck. However, my hope is that MTG Arena doesn't be like, Hey guys, this card is banned today, but we're not going to put it into effect until Thursday. And then you're just like, cool. So then you got four more days of Field of Misery. Anyway, we're going to try some, some Double Masters here again. Because we three out the last one, so maybe that's good. All right, bros, we are in it to win it. And uh, Maze of Ith and Braids are our rares. It's not very good. 47 Fahrenheit for two years ago, caught down to negative 70 wind chill, which is negative 94 degrees. <laughs> That's something right there. That is something. I figure you're so far north that it's like, good lord, man, how can it not be cold? I leave my ice trays outside and they freeze in less than five minutes. Ooh. Um, is there less of the basalt out? I don't think so. I mean, most of the artifacts are not colorless, ironically. I like Conclave Naturalists and I like Kaldatha Flame Fiend. I think it just might be naturalists. I actually don't know. I haven't drafted this format enough to know like if anything's like super bomby in here. But we can take this and maybe it is just basalt monolith. I like gold, but I ain't living the ice freezes in five minutes life. Yeah, that's that's that takes a, a, a special kind for sure. This just copies an equipment, right? That's just not good. It's just not good. I like Bone Picker. Oh, I guess we're picking it. Wow. Um, we can take double Bone Picker. Now I feel real good about picking this other Bone Picker. Twisted Abomination also pretty nice, but I think Bone Picker's probably stronger. No, it's totally awesome. Walking home in the power of nature. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. Merciless Eviction. Probably more Crut Banshee. It's very hard to trigger this creature, but maybe we can get it to work, right? Okay. I, mean, I don't think it's Cathodian or Dark Steel Axe or Flare Husk. Oh, Sarah Sphinx is nice. So is Falconrath Aristocrat. Interesting. These are surprisingly good picks here. I kind of like Falconrath Aristocrat. I think it's more splashable. It's probably going to be easier to splash a red then get rid of our good green card for i'm gonna take the falcon wrath to cut greater good draw four draw four draw four discard three so net you net one it's pretty good it's not that good probably just battle rival shaman <laughs> oh yeah we can also yeah this is a great sack outlet to trigger more crud banshee or bone pickers i'm just gonna take this Oh, Unlicensed Disintegration seems great. That's just a solid removal spell. Maelstrom Nexus. The first spell you cast each turn has Cascade. I mean, for the color requirements on that, I feel like you should get a little bit more out of it. Hmm. See, Sickle, Sickle, Sickle Slicer seems better because we do want creatures that can die, and we also have a uh, Unlicensed Disintegration. Um, Dire Fleet Hoarder seems fine. Also makes a treasure, so reasonable to uh, sacrifice and help cast our splash. I'm a Math Teox. Okay, well. Clearly not an English Teox. Got him. Um, mana cost two or less. Eh. 
I'll take Orcish Vandal. Whatever. I hate when people disintegrate without the proper license to do so. It's true. Buddy, listen. You disintegrate normally. Under the law. Did you see the Commander's Spellbook green thing? I love all the reprints except the two colorless cards. They just don't make sense to me. No, I have not. Can you link to it? Hmm. Just take Dark Steel Axe. Oh, it's in your Battle Rage came back. I don't hate it. Thanks, I hate it. Beacon of Unrest and Magus of the Will. Those are both pretty trash, right? What is this guy? Put an artifact creature from the graveyard. So this is just reanimate. But can also target uh, artifacts. Typing in Twitch on my phone is hard. You know, I've heard this before. Um, well, not Thopter Foundry. Could be just Treasure Keeper and Chalice, maybe? Oh, it's from a graveyard? That's not terrible. All right, we'll take this, and we'll take Treasure Keeper. <sighs> Zimini Pot, appreciate it, buddy. Commander Collection Green. Interesting. Oh, so this is just a reprint of Fraley's. So it's not a new Fraley's, I guess is what I'm saying. Wow, a second Sarah Sphinx? And Vishkal? 5-5 five, five Flying Lifelink. I think it's just Vishkal, and we're just splashing it again off of our... Whatever we're splashing with. That seems pretty good. I mean, it's a 5-5 five, five Flying Lifelinker for 7. And black is one of our main colors, so I'm not... You know. Well, that's blue. It's another Thopter Foundry. Executioner's Capsule seems pretty good here. Let's take that. Okay, Sack a Creature, put X1 on counters where X is the creature's power. That's pretty game-winning. And if we're just playing red, or if we're just playing white, like, topple the statue is really good. Oh, wow, this is a nice Sylvan Library print. That's pretty sweet. Same with Worldly Tutor. Commander Collection Green. That's super interesting. What's the price on this going to be? Oh, Graven Cairn seems sweet. I just don't get why they put Command Tower and Soul Ring in there. I, I, I kind of agree only in, in, only for the reason that like they put them in everything. So it's like, hey man, we have enough Command Towers and Soul Rings. Remove one one counter or charge counter. It deals two damage to any target. Hmm. I mean, I feel like if we have Vish Call, we're already winning. And Beacon is pretty sweet because it gives us two Vish Calls. I think it's just Graven Cairns. Like, Painsmith is cool, but we don't have a ton of artifacts to trigger it, so... Oh, Chromatic Star is nice. Yeah, that's a that's an easy pick. Um... Actually fine with Everflowing Chalice here. We got quite a, quick, quite a few four drops that we wouldn't mind wrapping to. I'm out for real now, but none of it is an all thing to you. I can send you guys something unique. That would be awesome, dude. That would be it. That would be sweet. Arctic Ranger, have a good night, though. We'll definitely talk about that. Talk about you sending me some sweet stuff. Some sweet none of it swag. <laughs> Yeah, Gleaming Barrier actually also not also not bad. Like you just you get a wall, but then you can sack it if you really need to. 
Let's take supernatural stamina. Oh, twisted a bomb. That's gas. That's pretty. That's pretty nice. Um, whatever. I'll just take angel. Sure. Eh, divest into corridor boy. Man, I, oh, sort of War and Peace. Is that good in this format? I don't know. It's not cubes, so maybe. I mean, it's just literally a really good sword. <sighs> you may add an amount of mana equals number of Yeah, we're just taking sword for one. Did you say bone picker number three? That's interesting. Probably, right? I mean, it. A Thrag Tusk? Wow, that's pretty sweet. Wow, that's really cool. Um, I mean, that's got to be the best card in the pack, right? Take out Scavenger. Not super excited about Scavenger. F Heat Shimmer. Create a token that's a copy of a creature. So, haste. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, Rapacious Dragon seems good. It fixtures for both Vishkal and some of the uh, the green dudes. Crib Swap's also not bad, but let's take the dragon. Nope, nope. It's probably just Tumble Magnet. I think Tumble Magnet's pretty good. This deck looks pretty good so far. Thoughtseize. Wow. Or Executioners. Executioners capsule number two. It's probably capsule number two. We have Cast Down Topple, Unlicensed Disintegration, three Bone Pickers. Maybe it's not, actually. Yeah, I'm taking capsule. I think in limited formats like this, capsules are uh, removal is just better than like, a card like Thoughtseize. If it was cube, then we'd have a different conversation. Well, let's take Twisted A Bomb number two, I guess. Dire Fleet Quarter number two has got to be better than Elvish, El 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 Orcish Vandal here. Fatal Push. This is 27 cards. Jeez. Probably cut probably cut naturalists and more more crud banshee for now. Yeah, sure. Um, Daredevil's fine. Bone picker. Can you pick my bones? Okay, so you take a Hex Mage. I feel like this is good even if they're not red or white, right? Like, it's got to be decent. Hmm. 
mm, topple one of either one or the other the other has to be very very good right treasure keeper might not be great because you have a lot of removal so as far as fixing goes we have star two dire fleet hoarders a rapacious dragon it's not terrible we do need two more cuts though i think actually i think it's either basalt or everflowing chalice probably basalt monolith i'm not super impressed with it although it is a turn four vish call if we have black black white before then yeah it's not terrible the problem is you only get to use it like once i mean i guess we can go chalice on four and then it's on turn five we still could do it so it's just one turn behind this but i think this is just better in general so we got yeah i think one and one is fine actually we can easily go two because our uh one two three four five six seven so this is like ten three two two plus graven cairns and we only have three black three red cards two white cards and one green card uh 10 11 12 30 40 15 16, 17 sure and we're just gonna play 41 here we'll see if this deck is any good it's got some sweeties Pickers. I guess our uh, our matchmaking failed. Well, that's too bad. Oh, or it didn't. That's weird. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. Pick them bones. Cast with multi kicker of one. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. We definitely want to hit land here. <laughs> yep. Topple the statue. Very good. Very good. Get him. Galvanic Blast. They're making sure I can't sack artifacts. Oh, yeah, there you go. Nicely done, nicely done. Oh, this deck. Mm hmm. White mana, guys. Mm hmm. 
I guess we can wait. Mm hmm. Man, my kingdom for a galvanic blast. You know what? Sure. I'm just trying to survive at this point. Yep. White source. Black source. We take one. They move this over. It's one, two, three, four, five damage. One, two, three, four, five. So if we draw a white source next turn, we're probably still dead. We take five, then we take two. Oh, they didn't move it. Oh, that's very good. Uh, I, I'll, I'll accept that. So now we take three instead, but I guess they're going to play something with the mana instead, so... Seems good. <sighs> Are you winning? No, Dad. What are they, white red? And we have Sword of War and Peace? That's pretty cool. Let's bring in Hex Mage instead of. God, it's funny because our deck seems actually really good. All three of these are good. We'll take out Supernatural Stamina. Like, all, all four, all of our two drops are good. Hmm. It's rough. I just lost Paw. Um, I'll keep it because of the capsules and the twisted A bone. Wouldn't it better have been saved Bone Rigger for any of Black Up? No, not really, because we don't have time. <laughs> like, we're at nine life. I don't really have the luxury to, like. Like, I'm just trying to clear the board and, and, and manage what's on board. Yeah, but even in terms of trumping, like I'm, I, I'd rather not take take an extra two and go to seven. Because then they just play something else that turn. Then we just have to block something next turn. So let's get swamp. So like I mean like they had like one 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 two two right we block the two two they have two guys, then they play the other goblin so we just take two we go to seven, next turn we have stamina up we block this guy, and then they have three attackers that are getting through so it's just like, like I just don't really want to take the damage there, and then also take it again next turn, just to keep the dude up. Um, well, our mana has been absolutely atrocious and uh we have not drawn more than three lands per game so i don't want to play sword because they could have topple and then it just dies yep
interesting that they never make it a 3-3. I guess because we have capsule. You know, that makes sense. I understand. gets in there let's just play sword see what happens what's the worst that could happen <sighs> topple you're like oh, okay <laughs> here it is yeah Christ, just once I'd like them to not have it. Just one time. I don't, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. All right. Oh, boy. I mean, it's an uncommon, right? Like, so... The odds of them having an uncommon in their hand at the exact turn they need, it's like probably 98%, I think. So, you know. Seems good. If they don't always have it, the S. It's true. Hmm. <laughs> Turn seven. Three fucking lands. Absolutely amazing. I don't think there's a situation where it matters that Topple taps the artifact. I think it's more about the fact that Topple can tap any permanent. So it's not just targeting artifacts. Like, if you need to get that blocker through, if you need to prevent an attack, you can still do that on those things. <laughs> Jesus. Discard a Sanctum Spirit for that? Weird. I mean, I have four mana now, so that's cool. <sighs> yep. Still no fucking lands. Eight turns, three lands. Oh, boy. Kind of amazing.
Twisted abomination. I kind of think we just crack the treasure to kill this next turn. Cool, cool. Um, block you, block you. And we're just dead here because they have fucking fortify again, so that's cool. Yep, every game. Absolutely incredible. Had the lightning axe when you need it, had the topple when you need it. Seems good. Meanwhile, we could not draw more than three lands in nine turns. So, you know, par for the course in terms of. I mean, I would even be like, wait, well, yeah, maybe Conclave Naturals could be good, but then it's like, oh, well, we <laughs> didn't hit five mana in either game. So, you know. That's magic for you. Now we can just try to uh, two one like suckers. All right, round two. God, we just draw, like it's funny because like while we do have 10 black sources in the deck, we do have seven other sources. So you think we draw one of our non-black sources at least once. Meanwhile, we've had Vish call on every opening hand. Uh, and I can guarantee we have more non-swamp basic lands than Vish calls in our deck, so. Yeah, I mean, Basalt Monolith would have, but we'd also have to draw it, so. I mean, same can be said about Everflowing Chalice, so. Another swamp. Jesus. Relic Runner. Capsule. We shouldn't be playing four colors. I mean, you got a lot of advice here, but I, I don't think that's actually accurate. I mean, we have two of every land at least and three swamps or three three uh, mountains and two sources plus uh, two dire fleet hoarders, which makes make treasures to fix the colors, a rapacious dragon and a chromatic uh, star. Like that's six sources of any color. We need one one green or one white. Uh, like it just doesn't. I mean, it's one thing to be like you shouldn't be playing four colors, but like the math doesn't work out. 
Like, like we should be able to draw a single card that helps us cast either one of these, which would be totally fine because both of these are extremely powerful cards. All right, you're one of these two. I mean, if we could draw a beacon here, that'd be actually pretty sweet because then we can just reanimate it. Took the rag tusk. Seems okay. Hey, look at red source. They're like, wow, red too? Wild. I'm just gonna take two here. We'll see what else they play. Nothing. Okay. Oh, shoot a green. I don't think it's awkward fixing when, like, the fixing we need is on, like, turn 5 and 7. Like, I mean, if your 2-1 is still alive on turn 5 or turn 7, like, it's probably, <laughs> you're probably winning. I mean, if you can't engineer a situation, like, plus we have Falconroth Aristocrat to sacrifice, like, I mean, I, re I really don't think as long as we're hitting our land drops that it's really a big issue. Four, five. <laughs> Fucking non legendary, non black. Incredible. Absolutely amazing. Like, meanwhile, we're not like drawing anything we can play in the early turns. This deck looked really sweet. I mean, I don't know. I mean, is there any legitimate way to deal with the fucking Scarab God Unlimited? Not really, I guess. <sighs> Divest on turn four. Shut up and take my money. Irving Chocowitz, let me all tell you about the delicious flavor of chocolate. <laughs> See, that's funny. Wow. Thanks, Irving Chocowitz. I feel... I don't think topple out because we didn't see any... Uh... Well, any any artifacts really? Sure, this actually seems fine. I mean, this format has pentad prisms and chromatic stars, and I'm I'm actually pretty sure you're supposed to be splashing, like for all the powerful cards, especially when you get to open two rares in a pack. Like, I think they're actually encouraging you to play uh, off color cards in this. I think I'm just going to play this next turn as a 2, so. Wow, they're really, uh, oh, that's pretty sweet. Hmm. Interesting. Frogify. Oh 
Okay. Oh, well, that's sad. Do you think they have Essence Scatter? Essence Scatter is in this format, right? Maybe it's not? Is it not? Mm, doesn't look like it. I guess we could just go for it. I mean, it's no Scarab God, but... Yep. Frogify. Who saw that coming? It's a Conclave Naturalist for sure. Parasitic Strix. Shut Oof. up and take my money! Oof. Irving Vanellowitz. Hey, I'm a thing too. <laughs> God damn it. That's incredible. Huh. Well... They're like, what if he wants the block with the parasitic strix? Yes. That's what we want. Yep, that's what we we're hoping for. Next time they're like, Scarab God. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Maybe the solution to winning was drawing more lands and having the opponent not drop Scarab God. I think if we have lands, we're fine. Like we can play our spells, but like we're just getting steamrolled by having no spells, no no lands to cast our things, and it's just kinda kinda frustrating. In the great uh Choco Vanilla Wits Wars, who who was the winner again? I forgot how history was written. Thank there. you. That's interesting. J Link, welcome back, buddy. Thank you for the resub, my dude. Oh, they're gonna Oh, they're casting down my guy. Okay. Take one. All right, so I had buffalo chicken strips. That sounds fantastic. I'm a fan of buffalo all the things. One, two, three, four. It's your boy. Is that going to be game? Because we both played legendaries and then we concede in response to each other's legendaries? No? Okay, we'll play it out. I had a BLT set I made with my expert sandwich skills. God, he's always bragging. It's, it's wild. Yeah. So basically, 5-5 five, five legendaries win games in this format. I kind of like Heartless Pillage. Just make him discard it. Naturalist seems very good here. Um, I'll go to 41. I ain't scared. Let's take out Tall Magnet. Maybe Tall Magnet sucks. Sure. Shut up and take my money. Oh, I wonder who it is. Super Fritz Expert Sandwich Skills. Wow, that was... That was aggressive. I'm gonna be honest with you, I got a little afraid. I feel like he was losing his mind. Here they got a Relic Runner. Yep. Every game. 
I don't know if I'm doing one more after this. I'm actually real tired. I've been going to sleep a lot earlier recently, and uh, it's actually been working out pretty well because I get up earlier too, and I'm like, wow, I'm up so early, I can do all these things. Specifically stream. Oh, no attacks. I like it. That was great. Thank you. What did they... What were they afraid of? Huh. Well, I mean... Again, no two drops or three drops here, which is pretty fucking uncanny. Because we have like... 14 cards between 1 and 3. But, you know. So we have uh, Chalice, Push, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 cards. Oh, good. They're just going to. What? What's happening right now? Soul manipulation? Sure. I'm very confused right now. So they just go Scarab God? And we're like... Bummer. Nope. Something. Something else. <sighs> so our only real option is Beacon of Unrest for the Bone Idiot. And I guess try to erase this. I don't know. They have one card. Five, six, seven, eight. We're taking like nine. That's pretty disgusting. I mean, I would, like, again, like, we didn't hit a red, but we drew both of our red, two out of three red cards in the deck. So it's like, I don't know. Could we draw cards that we can cast? That'd be cool. Pre combat. But why? Oh, so it can't be blocked? Uh, I'm just sure I'll just take eight. Super Fritz, I was real disappointed at the rating that uh What's that movie called? The friggin' The Salvador Dolly movie got. I mean, we go sword, equip, we gain one, two, three, four, we go to eight, and then we die. I mean, hoarder lets us block two. Sure. I mean, we just play sword to have it on board. And I'm sure we're probably still dead, but they have no cards, I guess. No, we have to block Relic Runner and Twisted Abomination, so. Yeah. And if they draw any historic card, we're just dead. I don't know, this is a pretty miserable draft in the sense that we drew terribly. Um, yeah. Take three. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have anything that can that can actually get us out of this. Vish call maybe block a turn. <laughs> Seems terrible. Yep. Planes does not do it. One two three four five, and then we have one two three four. Maybe we technically play these two, but then we die to the third creature. So 
Okay. Let's play one more round and uh, kind of a what? What you time? I took this out for this. What else did I remove? What? Did we only have forty cards? Or we didn't have forty-one. Weird. I think that's probably better in this format. It's funny because we also have a Twisted Abomination in our deck, so it's, and, and like Everflowing Chalice and Chromatic Star, but we haven't, like, still having mana troubles with all that is still kind of weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we could literally go nine, eight, have a third forest, the third planes, maybe. Considering the only double black card is Beacon. And then it's like eight. So we have still eight swamps and a graven cairns, right? No, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's give it one more go. I mean, I think this is the the benefit. Like, I mean, this is like the one of the redeeming qualities of this format is that you, there's a lot of fixing. There's pentad prisms, there's chromatic lanterns, or chromatic stars rather, and like you get the luxury of playing all these powerful rares. But you know, when you don't draw lands or like on curve cards. It becomes a little more difficult, so. You gonna kill this guy? You're gonna wish you did. Oh yeah, that guy's dead. Now if we draw any land, we can play Rapacious Dragon next turn, which is pretty sweet. Nicely done. I mean, Pro Red here is pretty good. <laughs> it's like... We just get to attack for a lot. Oh! Fascinating. Oh yeah, that's pretty unfair, I think. Yep. I mean, as soon as they try to equip or capsuling this guy, so... And we're going to use Capsule because it turns on Fatal Push. If we use Disintegrate, okay. <laughs> They're like, dang it, I was hoping you would see that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Can I go to my... Okay. Well, I'm glad we have Naturalists in here. And Topple.
keep this. Put a swamp back. I mean, if they play a creature, we can cast down and then cast Bone Picker, which is not terrible. That is not a creature. Hmm. Okay. Well. I don't think this is worth toppling. Yeah, we're actually going to wait till our turn to cast down so we can bone pick her as well. But if we draw a land, we can aristocrat here. Kind of like that. Can we ban whale vomit discussions? I feel like it should already be like implied banned, right? I don't think much is lost. I think you're correct. I think you're correct. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to kill this now. And assume we draw land. Oh, we're so good at this game. That's how we drew it up. You know what they say. Well, she never lives. No, Maze of It, that sounds like a fun card. Ooh. Rapacious Dragon, so rapacious. Man, Maze of It, that's annoying. Okay, double dragons. This is where they put their sword on. I'm gonna equip this guy immediately. You got it. Yeah, that's not what we're looking for. One, two, three, four. Actually, is there a reason we're not cracking this when we have two treasures on board? Probably not, right? One, two, three, four, five. Oh! That's absolutely terrible. That's not what we wanted to do at all. Well, that was a misclick. Wow. <sighs> yep. Wow. I'm trying to like wrap my head around how terrible that was. Sure. Sack the magnifying glass, kill this. Seems good. I mean, I don't think I did it slowly enough, so I, like, I feel like I did it quite quickly. Wow, that's absolutely going to cost us the game. 
Unless we can top tick like Conclave Naturalists here. Yep. Cool. Fucking sword. Yep. That was that was fun. That was a good time for everybody. <laughs> Case this link is wonderful. I will play first. This has every color we ever wanted. Shut up and take my money. Oh, bad beat yourself, Jackpot. Mr. Tasty, I appreciate you, dude. Oh, that's awesome. God, I feel so bad. Talk about the bad feels. I mean, I just want to be able to cast Vish Call here. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this now because I don't want to do it next turn because then we're gonna cast Sickle Slicer. Salivating Gremlins, sure. I don't think I care about any of these things. Gremlins feel the most obnoxious, but Flame Fiend's kind of big. I'll just take gremlins. Whisper and Forest Mountain Abrade our Slickle Slicer. No. No abrade for a gentleman. Come on, someone playable. That's not really playable. I mean Beacon's pretty good with Vish Call in hand, so. Yep, you got it. And Braid's gone. Seems good. That seems good too, though, so. Shut up and take my money. Ocean Man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land. I hope you understand. I don't. I really don't, unfortunately. It's all too much. Yeah, this is just bait, because now we get to play Vish Call and. We could even play Thrag Tusk first. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then Sack of Ishkal to put five counters on it. That seems good. But. I think just getting this guy down is better, especially when we have Beacon. <laughs> oh shit, man. Ocean man. I mean, they have Maze of it, so Vishkal is not going to be the dude that wins, but... Oh, no attacks is good. No attacks is okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Remove all plus one plus one free. Okay, so like we can sack this for five, kill something, kill we can kill both of his guys. Five to life. <laughs> oh lord. Well, our board is both rares. Maze of Ith is annoying. I don't actually know how to get around that. Why not attack that? Because they have Maze of Ith on board. I 
I mean, I guess like, I hope they forget, but yeah, it just seems like a waste of my time. Seems fine. Do I beacon this guy? Kind of feels decent. Or just beaconing the rapacious dragon, because now they don't have any flyers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it better to be an air dragon or their dragon? That's the question. I don't think it's. I don't think it makes a huge difference here. But it does give us a clock, which is nice. And it does get shuffled back in, so it is possible to redraw the. And I'm sure a red green deck is going to have to kill this guy with damage, and we can make it an 11 11 right now. So I feel like that's pretty safe. Yeah, Blasphemous Fact is in the format. That's pretty hilarious. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's 13. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If we got Thrag Cuts back, we could play around Blasphemous Act. They seriously have Blasphemous Act, which is rare. Is this really happening? Mr. Tasty, thank you so much for the, re for the gifted sub, buddy. <sighs> Surreal. Braid the Beast. Maybe they don't have it. Sacrifice this guy. This is actually pretty decent. Now we get to eat their guy. So we trade in a Braid and a Kaldatha Flame Fiend for, for this. I mean, unless they want to, uh, they can maze of it their own guy, but then we get to get in there with both of our guys. Sure. Yeah, I have no idea why he didn't kill my actual flyer, like, instead of the stupid beast. It's not it's not blasphemous act otherwise they wouldn't have taken this guy to combat unless uh, sure it's annoying I 
We get to attack for eight here. It's pretty sick. All right. <laughs> showing off much because it's double not single oh I see I see and it gets attacked for eight here but that just means they take eight and we take none so <sighs> this card's really surprisingly annoying and limited Oh, I overpaid. I mean, obviously we'll make them use it, sure. Pro Red seems good. I feel like they're going to have a hard time getting around this guy. And we have triple bone, bone daddies, bone pickers. And two of braids in the graveyard. Bone Daddy. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll just play this. <sighs> ah, I'm really annoyed by the stupid friggin' Maze of Ith. What up, Lonely Tex? Well, they do have three fewer cards than we do, so it's not entirely out of the question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm complaining about lands. An island. I guess they already had a treasure, so I'm not super concerned with that. <sighs> it's actually surprisingly decent here. Two, three, four, five, six. I mean, this guy kills everything, and they can only return one, so. And both of these guys get around uh, Blasphemous Act now. Sure. That's definitely going to get cycled to draw a card. Well, our removal is coming up. Removal's coming up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So next turn we're gonna put the sword on this guy. And then we have an 8-8 eight, eight and a 7-7 seven, seven thing. This is grindy, but I feel like we're getting somewhere. Mm hmm. Take seven. Take eight, actually. Okay, they're at four. <sighs> yep, that seems... Yep, sweet. All right, it's a match. Yes. One, two. Unfortunate mana issues. Hopefully you guys stuck with us till the end. And saw how the deck was kind of supposed to perform. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, check out twitch.tv slash frankformanatraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service where you get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Follow, like, subscribe. You know how to do it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.